Hey guys, welcome to another video for I Love Infusionsoft. I wanted to talk about lead magnets today. This is gonna be a fun one. <laughs> so Tyler, as I've been managing our team, mm -hmm. as we go through and we work with clients of all different types of businesses, one really common question we get is, box out, help us with our lead magnets. How do I do a good lead magnet? Yeah. Can you give us some best practices and what to do? Absolutely, so the thing that makes me cringe the most is when they send us like a 45 page document and they say, here's my ebook. You know, Can we get some leads using this thing? Yep. I'm telling you what, the last thing anyone wants to do is read a 45 page ebook. Especially if your ebook has some really stupid name, which most of them do. <laughs> or really technical jargon. Really technical. That's another thing we get a lot of is people send us all their technical expertise. Yes. And people just don't want that. They don't want to read your ebook. They don't even want to watch your videos. They don't want anything you have to offer unless you can solve a problem. So we gotta make sure first that your lead magnet, no matter what it is, is positioned the right way. That they know that when they get access to that lead magnet, yeah. you can solve their problem. You can relieve some pain, you can help them get the desired benefit that they want. The other thing that they need to know is that the desired benefit that they want is within reach. It's not sure. like, hey, you gotta read this 45 page ebook and it's gonna take six months and whatever. So, quick. We, yeah, quick and easy. You wanna make it as easy as possible for them to get some benefit. Now, they're not gonna get the benefit that you offer with all of your products or services, of course. Sure. Um, but you need to be able to get them a quick win uh, really, really easily. So, we often um, suggest quizzes, checklists, action plans, step by step guides, um, maybe a simple video course, things like that. Again, the type of lead, ma lead magnet isn't as important as them understanding the benefit that they get. But if I can offer a step-by-step -step guide, hey, download this quick step-by-step -step guide, mm -hmm. it's four steps to achieving blank, right? That feels much easier than, hey, I've got 79 pages of great information for you in this ebook. Sure. Right? Now, can you touch on where they should put that button, that call to action for their lead magnet? So many times people get confused. Above the fold, below the fold, in the footer, in the header. You know, Where should people put that call to action to get people to sign up? Great question. So if you are driving traffic from affiliates, advertising, social media, et cetera, you should just create a separate landing page that all it has is the offer for that lead magnet okay. and the form and the button and everything is right above the fold. Okay. If you have traffic coming to your website and you want people to opt into that lead magnet, now we've got some decisions to make because do they need to go through the lead magnet before they take the next step, which might be request a consultation or to buy something or whatever. Right. Um, if not, we, we don't want the lead magnet to get in the way. You know, if it's a quick e-commerce sale, sometimes lead magnets are just in the way. We're slowing down the sale. So you gotta make sure you understand the dynamics of your traffic flow and what your people want. Um, if your sales cycle is a longer sales cycle, then the lead magnet might be something you do wanna put front and center, you know, above the fold, homepage maybe, or at least call to action in the header. Uh, if you have a shorter sales cycle, like a quick e-commerce sale, you know, something that's gonna be 10 bucks or whatever, people can buy that without thinking about it much, then maybe the uh, lead magnet is more of a kind of downsell, right? If they don't go purchase, then further down on the page or whatever, you might f offer the lead magnet as another way to capture attention. Great, great suggestions. Thank you so much. Guys, I know we talked about a lot of maybe some marketing specific terms in here. If you have any questions, go to I love and Infusionsoft.com. Sign up for more tips. We'd be happy to share those with you. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. See you soon.